joy. Is what I am hearing true? That you are getting married to another man. Is that why you rushed my house this early morning? What were you expecting? Should I fold my arms until you are ready in 100 years time? I am no longer getting younger. I am a woman, and women are like papa. Once they over ripen, they become good for nothing. I have to make use of my time. But I ask you to have a little patience with me. Must you forsake me this way? You didn't even tell me. I had to hear it from an outside person. Peter, see, forget that your look, man and woman is not the same. In 70 years to come, you can still marry a 16 year old girl. But once a woman is over 30 years old, man will start calling her an old woman. So when you are ready to marry, you will see a person you will like more than me, even if I wait for you, you might later say you will no longer marry me for one reason or another. Then I will become an old product, begging to be bought. We women have to be wise. Okay then, if that is what you want, good luck. I am sorry. I am no longer getting young. You should understand. It's not your fault. If I had money, another man would not have taken what I desired. God knows what is best. I believe she is not mine. <coughs> Sometimes I don't even know if I am going forward or backward. Every year, it's the same Peter. The same level. From year to year, Peter is a boy. It's not that I am not putting all the effort into making sure that I look like my fellow men. I am doing everything I can, yet at the end I will find myself at the same level one started at. No forwarding. Just stand still. I am 35 this year. I don't even have a wife, let alone a child to call mine. What is going on in my life? I am getting tired of this life. I find it difficult to make money, but when I finally do, I will not know what I do with it and it will get finished. I can't boast of anything I have achieved. I struggled without result. This is getting out of hand. Something has to be done about it. I can't continue like this. If I can't save enough money to get myself a wife and have my own family, what am I living for? Peter. Mother, you are here. What are you thinking? You didn't even notice when I entered. Mother, I am tired. Nothing is working in my life. I have told you to stop being negative and complaining. Instead, talk to your Heavenly Father and believe He is going to solve the problem when it will not hurt you. A true child of God, do not complain, because the more you complain, the more the devil will increase the pain. This is because complaining is telling the devil that what he's doing is getting to you, and you know the devil loves to see us cry and hate ourselves. You must not let Satan manipulate you into believing that God is not blessing you. As long as you are alive, God has a plan for you, and the greater your challenges, the greater your blessing. It will get to you only if you overcome the devil's trials. Mother, I heard you. It's just that I am carried away by what is happening in my life. Don't be carried away, as the Bible says in Psalm 50 verse 15, Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. Instead of hating yourself and fighting, call on God and believe He has answered you. Every human has one thing or another to pass through before getting to his or her destination. You shouldn't complain. Embrace any situation you find yourself in. Thank God. Praise Him. That is the only way you can move Him. Worry, complaining, depression, and frustration do not and cannot move God. Complaining will only draw you closer to Satan and you will not know when you will fall for him. If you want your problem to get solved, learn to praise God in the midst of the problem and be happy. Laugh. Sing praises, you will see that you will not know when the problem will disappear. In fact, the problem will solve itself and still help you learn a lot or increase your wisdom. You are right, mother. Let me go and see the man I worked for yesterday. He said I should come and collect my money today. All right, go well. I pray you understand why we shouldn't be complaining. I hope I meet this man at his house today. <sighs> is he not around or what? Who is knocking at my door like that? Who is that person that wants to break down my door? What is it? Peter, do you want to break my door? I am sorry if that offends you. 
I came to collect my money as promised. So because I owe you money, that is why you want to destroy my door. Do you know how much it costs to have a door? I said, I am sorry. You are sorry? What do you want? The work I did for you, you have not paid me, that is why I am here, you said I should come today. Yes, I say so, but it didn't come out the way I expected it. You have to come back next week. I don't like this. This is not our agreement. I don't want to get angry. I worked so hard until I finished the work you gave me. You should pay me. Get angry if you want to get angry. I don't have the money, and I will not kill myself because I am owing you. I said, come back, or do what you want to do. Look at the way you are talking to me. Even if you don't have money, can't you talk politely? Did I do something bad by working for you? I should be polite because you are who, president or governor? Please leave and come back next week. Staying here is a waste of time. I can see you are a troublemaker, but don't worry, I will overcome you. No you should have stay, because I am owing you I will no longer here for you. If you talk too much when you come back next week, I will postpone paying you until you show me what you can do. You want to get angry. Get angry. Let me fix it for you. Look at how a man I work with all my heart is speaking to me. If I blow on him now, they will say, young man, blow on an old man. They will not ask or care to know what he did. I know it's a temptation. I don't know why I have to face this kind of temptation after my mother will say, I am complaining. Why won't I complain? I will work. When it is time to pay me, the story will enter. I am tired of this. Is that not Peter? Where is he going with so much anger? <coughs> Uncle, good afternoon. Peter, what is the problem? You are walking and talking alone. Uncle, I am tired, I don't understand what is going on in my life at all, I am struggling without seeing any result. Look at me, I'm still the same. My age mates are up there, and I am down here the same way I was. Nothing is going well with me at all. The worst is that I keep falling into the hands of troublemakers, who refuse to pay me after I worked for them. So your mother did not tell you? Tell me what? I'm not sure what your mother's goal was or if she didn't want you to succeed. A mother should wish her child well. Why is your mother less concerned, knowing where your problem is coming from? My mother knows where my problem is coming from. I don't understand you. What are you trying to say? You are the reincarnation of your grandfather. You should make some sacrifices to appease the gods of your grandfather, who allowed you to come back to the world, so that he will allow you to succeed. He is annoyed that you are ungrateful. If you don't offer a sacrifice to it, I am afraid, nothing for you. I told your mother, and he shunned me, but now look at it. It's affecting you. You mean I have to perform some sacrifice to the gods of my great-grandfather before I will be liberated? That is it. If you don't do it, they will not allow you to excel. But I am a child of God. It is not good that I sacrifice to the gods of my grandfather. That will be serving two masters at a time. Forget that. This is something you must do, that is, if you want your situation to change. Except you like the way you are. No, God forbid. Then use your tongue to count your teeth. Even your Bible says, give to Caesar what belonged to Caesar and to God what belonged to God. Christianity has nothing to do with this. Once you are done with the sacrifice, you continue with your church. No one will disturb you or even know of it. A lot of people are doing it and you will not know, including the pastors. When they are done doing it secretly, they will come and tell you not to do it. What makes you think things are going well with them? Why are they not the way you are? Have you asked yourself this question? The answer is that they are smarter than you. So open your eyes. I am going. So my mother knew all this, and allow me to be suffering all this while, no wonder I am this way. Mother. You are back, welcome. So you know where my problem is coming from and refuse to tell me. Peter, what do you mean? I met one of my uncles, and he told me I am a reincarnation of my grandfather. That the gods are annoyed that I am ungrateful, and that is why I am like this. He said I need to perform some sacrifices to appease the gods, so that they will let me succeed. Peter, why do you want to allow the devil to deceive you? There is nothing like reincarnation. That is, the devil lies by using an evil spirit to blind people. Bible say in Hebrews 9 verse 27. 
and just as it is appointed for man to die once and after this, judgment. And Matthew 25 verse 46 says, and they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will live in paradise forever. If you don't accept Christ, you will go to hell, and you will be there forever, no reincarnation. John 11 verse 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. Jesus Christ is the only way into heaven. Either you accept him and live, or you don't and suffer the painful consequences. Also, you were created in God's image. And you belong to God alone. You don't belong to any idols or gods. You own them with no sacrifice. Going to them means denying God as your father. It means you have followed Satan and forsaken God. There is no other God that has power over you except the God who created heaven and earth. 1 Timothy 2 verse 5. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. You own no body, or God's any sacrifice. Jesus has paid it all. Jesus Christ came for one reason, to become the final and complete sacrifice for our sins. When he died on the cross, all our sins were transferred to him, and he died in our place. No further sacrifice is needed, because Christ gave his life for us. When we put our faith and trust in him, the Bible says, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Hebrews 10 verse 10. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. 1 John, verse 2. Making another sacrifice for sin is a sin. It means you have neglected the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Going to an idol to perform a sacrifice, for whatever reason, health, finances, or a child issue, is a sin, and if you die doing so, you will go to hell. In fact, it is serving two masters at the same time, and you know God is a jealous God. He will not accept someone who serves him and other gods. You must choose what to serve. Either you serve God and put all your trust in him, or you follow what you want to serve, but saying you are serving God and the devil is not acceptable. No problem, mother. I know the truth. Forget what I said. I am hungry. Please let me have something to eat. All right, let me get you something to eat. My uncle said if I want my condition to change, I should perform a sacrifice. I think I know what to do. I am tired of being like this. He's right, I can do it and after that I will continue to worship God, nobody will know of it. What he said is true. I myself know is true. I have suffered a lot. How long am I going to continue having faith? Till when? A beg. I need to do something. That is what a lot of people are doing. Peter, where are you going? Mother I am coming. Let me see a friend. Okay, just be careful. I need to be free. Uncle. Uncle. Oh Peter, you are here. Yes, uncle, I came so that you would take me to a place where I needed to perform a sacrifice. Alright, I thought you didn't like yourself. In fact, I am tired. Let us go. Once you make the sacrifice, you will see that your life will not remain the same. Thank you very much, uncle. At least let me be like my fellow men. This is the place. The mouthpiece is inside. Go and meet him so that he will tell you what to do. Okay. And listen. Do anything the mouthpiece of the gods asks you to do. Only he can solve your problem. I will do as you say, uncle. Thank you for helping me. Very good. Finally, you have fallen for my trap. How dare you come so far and try to shine above me? It will not happen. No one will succeed in that family except me. Your mother thinks she can escape from my evil with the savior she runs to, but she has made a mistake because I have captured you, and I will make sure you are totally destroyed since you refuse to die despite all I have done. Now that you have run out of your savior, say goodbye. Hello, hello. What do you want? I came to perform a sacrifice to appease the gods of my grandfather, so that they would allow me to succeed. <laughs> you are in the red place. 
you have seven items to bring. After that, you will be coming for a spiritual bath every four days. You mean after bringing the seven items, I will still be coming every four days? You must not forget it. The gods need you to renew the sacrifice. Do you want to continue or not? The choice is yours. I thought it would be just once. What do I do now? Should I go back? No, I have gone far. There is no turning back. I need my condition to change. Let me do it. After all, it is just bringing the items every four days. It doesn't stop me from worshipping God or being a Christian. By the way, no one will know of it. Okay, I want to continue. Go and bring, seven cola nut, seven white cock, two he goat, two she goat, four lizard, one gallon of red oil, seven pieces of alligator pepper. Then add five hundred dollars. Be fast about it. No problem, I will try and bring it before two days. You can now go. Thank you, wise one. <laughs> this is my business. Uncle, I have seen him, and he has told me all the things I needed to bring. Let us go so that I can start arranging for them. Okay, just keep going so that you can bring all those items on time. Let me thank him, and make sure he will do a good job for you. Thank you very much, uncle I don't know what I would have done without you. Of course, my brother's son is my son as well. Alright uncle, let me be going. Nonsense. The only oracle I know. Finally, you brought him. I want all his greatness transferred to me. I have been wanting his greatness ever since I found out he is a great man, and finally he has fallen. You don't have a problem. I have already started the process. His mother is acting as if she is tough. Now the son is in our hands. I said it, and I made it clear that no one in that family would rise above me. It will never happen. As long as I am alive, only I will remain the great person in that family. But he and his mother wanted to destroy my evil power with their savior. Had he not fallen, I would have been dead in two weeks time. That is when the evil charm I was using to frustrate him will expire. Now that he is here, I get to live longer, thanks to him. Let all his greatness come to me. He has suffered me a lot while trying to get him. He gave me sleepless nights and tormented my soul. I almost died trying to kill him because I know that, as long as he is alive, I cannot change the will of God in his life. But how do I do that when his life is hidden in the blood of their savior? Whose name is a terror to me, I can't mention it. Each time they call on him, my power will scatter and they will have to struggle to renew it. If only they knew the power behind their prayer, they wouldn't complain but pray, but I am happy he did not know. With his doubt and complaining, I got to rest a little. Is okay, now you are free to do him anything you like. He is now empty, he has rejected his savior and run into darkness, so you don't need to cry anymore, wipe your tears and smile. You are right, no more crying. These are tears that he has finally fallen into my trap. Don't you know why I ask him to come every four days? It is because I want to make sure he never escapes. That is why you are the only one I can trust. <laughs> you are indeed my partner. I will see you later. Go ahead. Mouthpiece of the gods, I have brought the items. Good, I can see that. Now bow to the gods. The gods of my grandfather, I bow to you. Please allow me to excel. They have heard you. Come close. You are clean. Thank you, wise man. Remember, every four days you should be here to renew the sacrifice. I will. Now I am free from all those setbacks. There is nothing there. Man must survive. In this world, man has to be wise or remain nothing. Uncle I have done it. Very good. You will see that everything about you will change from now on. I am so happy, now I am free. In fact, I want to give you $1000 to show you that money will be following you from now on. Me, $1000. I am so grateful. I am happy I listened to you. This is just the beginning. Go home and wait for more to come. Okay, uncle. Welcome to the darkness, keep living in shadow.
I made the right decision. I have started receiving money. Wow, I should have done it sooner. I feel great. Brother Peter, you are not coming to church activity today. Of course, I will be there. You know I don't miss church or anything concerning God. I love God so much. Of course I know, I will be going now, maybe you be coming later. No problem, I will soon be there. We can hear you, Pastor. Go on. Yes, the solution to your problem is in God's hands. He is the only one who has the power to deliver you. No other God has this power. Whenever you are in trouble, seek his face. Stop looking for solutions elsewhere. Whenever you need help, go to Jesus. He is the best friend to have. He is the only one that can intercede on your behalf. Make Jesus your friend today. He listens to you. He cares for you. He loves you. He died for you. Go to him whenever you have problems. Going to a shrine or meeting a human will be disappointing. No matter what hills you face in life, you can always count on Jesus to be by your side, guiding you along the way. He will never abandon you, leave you feeling lonely, or let you fight your battles on your own. Jesus instead is a real friend that will encourage you, lift you up, and help you through both the good and dark times in our lives. When you build a relationship with Jesus, you will feel a sense of comfort in your day-to-day -day life, because you will know he is walking alongside you. Oh no. I almost forgot the sacrifice. Who do you go to for help when you're in trouble? Who do you fear, man, the shrine, or the god of the universe? Whose voice do you listen to, the human voice or God's voice? Who do you emulate, Jesus or man? Whom are you obeying, the voice of God or the voice of Satan? Remember, eternity has no end. Be a child of God who fears only God and emulates Jesus, trusting him with all your heart. Stop playing with your soul. Eternity is too close. There is no second chance. That is why you must not use your grace to play or neglect the word of God, no excuse for sin. Stick with God, for you can't serve God and the devil. The time is going, and I think I have to go for the renewal of the sacrifice first. Later, I will continue with the sermon. My uncle says if I continue the sacrifice, I will be great. Today is the fourth day, and I need to renew the sacrifice. Ever since I started performing this sacrifice, I have been seeing a lot of changes. The gods of my forefather, I have come to renew the sacrifice, accept it and keep making the way for me. They have answered me. Thank you very much, mountains. What does it take from me now? Nothing. It doesn't take anything away from me. I am still a child of God. A lot of people are doing it. Man has to be wise. A beg, let me go home and relax. <laughs> what am I doing here? You are dead. No is not possible, I was just going home. That is how it is. It happens in a twinkling of an eye. Oh, this place is so beautiful. You do not belong here. What? Why? It is abundantly clear that no idolater will inherit God's kingdom. You cannot serve God and the devil at the same time. Oh no, I have made a very big mistake. What you choose with your eyes wide open is not a mistake. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Hebrews 10 Verse 26. I thought it didn't take anything from me, but I was wrong it took my precious soul to hell. What matters is not whether it is taking something from you or not. What matters is where you will spend your eternity after. What matters is not whether anyone is seeing you or not. What matters is that you can't hide from God. What matters is not whether others are doing it or not. What matters is that you are not them. What you really want after the earth, is what you should be after. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Be sure of the road you are following. Where will it lead you? In hell or heaven? Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. What do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony is there between Christ and Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement is there between the temple of God and idols? For we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 to 16. You owe no body or gods or idol any sacrifice. Do not deceive yourself. The shrine cannot offer you anything, only God can. When you are facing challenges, go to God, 
talk to him, and stop going to idols. And stop saying others are doing it or that nobody is seeing me. What of God? Psalm 139 verse 12 says, Even the darkness is not dark to you, and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are alike to you. And David understood that there was no hiding place for God, as Amos said. The Lord God of hosts, he who touches the earth and it melts, and all who dwell there mourn. All of it shall swell like the river, and subside like the river of Egypt. Amos 9 verse 5. Learn to fear God, not humans. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe like and share. God bless you. And remember Jesus loves you.